Now they were that chick chick. Red pussy got rabies. Uh. I told you to check it out now. Holy! Now we got the record labels chiming in. Okay, basically their cash cows are sitting in jail. And now they need to make sure that people know the difference between a record label and a gang. Now, if you don't know, YSL was pretty much caught up in a Rico sting where pretty much Gunna, Young Thug, and a bunch of other rappers who weren't as big, but also some street dudes pretty got guys. locked up, okay? And everybody's been saying, yo, YSL is a record label, not a gang, okay? Because the police claim YSL is a gang. Now, I'm here to tell y'all the unfortunate truth. Both could be true. Now, I'm not saying both are true. I'm just saying both could be true. Possibly. Anyway, we got some support here from Atlantic Records, 300 Entertainment, and even Young Thug's ex-girlfriend, uh, Jerrica Carly, who basically they all said the same message, okay? Atlantic said Young Stoner Life Records <coughs> is a Myself music alike. label, okay? Share this post in an effort to spread the message that using lyrics on trial is both unfair and unjust. Also, 300 Entertainment said the same thing. If you don't know, Gunna signed to Atlantic. That's crazy, they let Gunna out. Thug. That is crazy. Okay, Jerker Carly also says, using rap lyrics in trial is insane. Now, first and foremost, and I really like Jerker. She's a really dope person from what I've seen. But, um, hey, listen, uh, trial hasn't started, number one. Okay? Number two, uh, if the feds or the police think they're going to convict these guys off lyrics, they're probably going to fail, okay? You know, there's going to be just too much Don't holes think in their case to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that these guys, especially the criminal enterprise they're trying to create, is actually effective if you all you got is lyrics, okay? So you kind of have to address the elephant in the room. And this is what nobody wants to say. A lot of times in the black community, we do this, right? Is it fair that the government no, uses lyrics against, not. you know, black people? No, I would never support that. They don't even write. They're not getting charged for lyrics. Y'all got to talk about they the murders, the drug dealing, the attempted murders. I don't understand. That's what they're like, being charged for. So, yes, ain't saying he don't the write, lyrics but... might be the icing on the cake, but damn it, that's not why they're being charged. If you guys are going to make wrote that for other proclamation, people too. you should probably also then say, hey, Young Thug has never participated in anybody getting they killed. Got Young top. Thug has never done no crime. These other individuals That's have the only done thing crime. The with, and should, to be honest, he only knows these it. guys because they work for his record label. Okay? That's a better defense. But just saying that they're being attacked for lyrics is really inept. Okay? Basically, these guys are locked up because of actual crimes. Okay? Now, was Young Thug and Gunna a part of Definitely those crimes? Not. You could, could argue a case say, that says no, but you would only be able to say bro, no by just saying, hey, they got millions, they, they, ain't no way homies, they in the street. But they're not in the gang. Okay? The point of what I keep trying to tell y'all is that if their whole situation or their whole defense is trying to say why sell ain't a gang, I'm sorry. It's gonna qualify as a gang under a lot of criminal statutes. Okay? Do y'all have, you know, certain language that separates y'all from the regular general public? Slap, slap, yeah. slap, Do they slap. have symbols or flags or even hand hieroglyphics that Should separate them from the general public? Yeah. I Do they know move together? Are they sing Naruto. together? Do they hang you know what together? I'm saying? Yeah. They're gonna call you a gang. And by the way, a gang isn't inherently bad. A gang is only bad when you're doing crime. You know what I mean? Like, to be honest, for example, if you look at Greek organizations, Greek? they could be technically considered a gang. However, they're not doing crime, or <clears throat> their purpose wouldn't be criminal in nature. For oh, example, like the colleges, Alphas, like, okay, or the right. IOTAs, or, you know what I mean, the Q-Dogs, right, if you're into, sorry. like, Black Frats. Yeah, they could be considered a gang, except technically it won't they are be like a gang. criminal gang, okay? So that's the only point that I think, you know, everybody's missing here. Yo, I'm down to agree Me that Y sells the record label. Okay, the feds or the cops actually, uh, the local police, the bro. state police, they believe Platinum that Y sell is a gang. Bro, now both could be true. Bro. The only thing that's gonna get Thug and them out of jail is to prove that y'all wasn't doing no crime. Okay, or unless Young Thug and Gunner gonna just pretty much jump out and be like, I don't know none of these niggas, and I don't know how they happen to get around me or how I'm sometimes on the phone with them. That's gonna be hard to prove. So basically. What's going to be the real thing that gets these guys off is proving that these crimes Bro, all are BS. All that BS. But the RICO ties everybody associated with the crime already to the bill. All right? You guys get in comments. Would you guys like them? Subscribe. Do you think YSL is a gang? 
or you think it's a record could be both. or you think huh, maybe it's the answer C. i think it's it both. could be both maybe you guys get the comment box let me know which more academics I'm up. but yeah free yourself and freedom member you know what i'm saying i'm out